Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, I thank you for the work that you've given me, Lord, for calling me to be a watchman, for my dreams and my visions, Lord. And Lord, I just, I just pray, Lord, to be faithful to you, Lord, to be pleasing in your sight. That's my prayer, Lord, to be pleasing to you, Lord, in all things. And I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. I, uh, I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I had a dream. Now I must warn you that there is no order to these dreams that I put out as to what comes first, second, or third. But with this dream, basically I had two dreams of evictions. My first dream, I was, I was home in bed and I was taking a nap when all of a sudden I was startled awake by a very loud and hard knocking uh, at my door and uh, someone was yelling something uh, at my front door and that that but I could not make out what they were saying so I jumped up and quickly got dressed thinking it was some kind of an emergency or something and I went to the door front door and I was shocked to see four police officers at my front door I said hello can I help you officers <laughs> then I was handed a court order paper demanding I vacate the premises immediately for arrears in my my payment uh, they told me that I had five minutes to pack one bag and then they would escort me off the property I told them I had animals and that no way could I take them with me and they said uh, that I could release them into my backyard with a dish of food and water on my back porch I was shocked I thought how could I put my babies out in the cold with only a dish of food and water on the back porch but that was what exactly what I had to do I was told that once they escorted me off the property I would be arrested for trespassing if I returned to the property they told me to hurry 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 and I ran and I grabbed a pillowcase and I began to quickly go through my clothes and I was thinking I had no time for pictures for for TV stereo silverware dishes no time for anything but what but a single bag of clothes is all that I had time for I didn't even think of a sleeping bag or a tent is that I, I did not own one anyway and all the while I was quickly rummaging through my clothes thinking what I needed for the streets in the cold weather and for the hot hot weather as well now while I was doing this the police officers at my door they were counting down the minutes that I had before they would come into my home and physically remove me from my home. I was running around like a madman trying to think and pack at the same time. It was unreal. Here I thought I would never be homeless and here I was now two minutes away from being homeless. Um, those people that I saw on street corners panhandling for money, now I was going to be one of them. I always thought that the government would step in at some point when there were millions of homeless in America I just always thought that the president or Congress or somebody would step in and stop the the evictions but they did not now I was homeless but I was not alone in my second homeless dream I was in the spirit and no one could see me or hear me and I I found myself riding in the back of a car I, I think it was a limousine and I was being driven out of a city when we hit the city limit sign is where all the homeless people started to line the ditches. And this was in every city, in every town in America. America had become a homeless nation. And it seemed everyone was, was homeless. There were the very old. Uh, there were men, women, and children, even babies. There were makeshift cardboard boxes uh, used for homes. There were tents, sleeping bags thrown about. There was trash everywhere. People had to use the bathroom outdoors, so it smelled terrible. This was a horrific sight. As I knew just a couple of months before, these people, they had jobs. They had homes, families, cars. They had possessions. Now they had nothing. Many were entire families living outdoors in the cold, the rain, the mud, and the snow. Many families 
but many families were split as some people had other options for them but but not for their family so many families were split up there were throngs of people with nothing to eat nothing to keep them warm no nowhere could, uh, to use the bathroom this became a living hell for these people a living hell on earth for these people the reason they were all outside the town is was the fact that homelessness had turned in to such a scourge all across America that every city had passed ordinances making homelessness uh, vagrancy and making it illegal in every city and every town across America. So when you became homeless, you made your way to the city limits and you camped out just outside the city limits in the ditches or on the roadside all across America. America had become a homeless nation. This was not an isolated event as it seemed everyone everywhere all across America was homeless. And if they caught you inside the city limits and homeless, they would sh ship you off to a FEMA camp. And after that, no one ever heard from you again. You disappeared and you were never seen or heard from again. I seem to be seeing all of this in the spirit. I saw this all across America, that homelessness was everywhere. And it seemed as if everyone was homeless. America was now living in ditches just outside of towns all across America. This was a, a heartbreaking sight to see. The very old, the handicapped, women, children, babies, they were all living in cardboard boxes, tents, or outdoors in the ditches on the shoulder of the road all across America. The people looked beat, lost, dejected, as they all had lost everything and they knew it. Many just gave up, went into town, and let the authorities take them away to local FEMA camps, thinking anything was better than living outdoors in a ditch. This is what I saw, and this is coming. This is coming. But this comes in the tribulation. So the rapture is oh so soon. Are you ready? Because our economy, it's about ready to collapse. God bless you and yours mightily. Bad times are coming. I've said it from the beginning. And I, and I did not lie. It's getting worse. And the only way to survive what's coming is to not be here. As in being raptured. Safe in the arms of Jesus. As there is no safer place to be in these last days. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we love you all so very much. Every one of you have been an absolute blessing to us in this ministry. And we just love you so much. We're getting down to the wire in this. We're so close. The finish line is, is within view. The finish line is within view now. This world is getting into a terrible, terrible shape. Terrible fix. And, and so we're going home soon. We're going home soon. We just have to keep the faith. Keep strong in the faith. Put on the full armor of God and stand in the gap. And just remain faithful and true. And be in prayer. Be in prayer. Because we're going home soon. We're going home soon. God bless you. And God keep you is our prayer. Amen.